Hello everyone, welcome to Aptera Owners Club. Uh, before we go on to this video, I want to remind everyone that we have a Discord channel. I'll put the link in the description. Please join the Discord channel and chat with uh, fellow Aptera enthusiasts. This video is going to be about insurance because a lot of people have been talking about um, how do we find insurance for the Aptera. And uh, that is a good question because the Aptera is kind of a niche vehicle and um, a lot of insurance companies probably will not know how to insure it or how to deal with it. So I kind of did some research and looked into about three cars that I think are similar to the Aptera and there are a few out on the market now. So companies have um, some experience with them. All right, so first is uh, the Electromechanica Solo. And uh, basically this website is saying that uh, small cars like the smart car average about $600 for car insurance and three-wheel motorcycles average just under $900 annually. But the Solo is electric, smaller than the smart car and from a brand new manufacturer. So they think that the rates could range anywhere from about $650 to $1,000 a year. Um, so with a sticker price of $1,850, you can expect the annual insurance cost to base ratio of 3.5 to 5%. Um, the most important expensive part of any insurance is the liability and bodily damage because that costs a lot. Um, property damage usually doesn't cost too much and smaller vehicles generally have um, lower insurance costs because number one, they're lighter so they cause less damage to other vehicles and to other property. And smaller vehicles have fewer passengers so therefore you'll have less liability towards your passengers. Aptera being a two-seater, um, you have less passengers. And then, of course, high-performance vehicles have higher um, insurance rates because people tend to kind of drive them more aggressively and crash more often. With a newer vehicle that they don't have, like, crash data on and those kinds of things, uh, most insurance companies are going to tend to err on the side of being a little bit more expensive. This is... So the Archimoto is another three-wheeler um, and looks like progressive insurance is officially, uh, insuring them. So they're going to be familiar with three wheelers. So progressive knows about them. There is a small insurance company called Agoff Archimoto insurance. This was a great website because they're, um, insuring Archimotos, but they've gone through and looked at all the various insurance companies and seen if they have a policy for three wheeled vehicles. So you can see AAA does not, Allstate does, American Family does, Country Financial does. These, uh, according to them, Geico does not, although I think that they do. Um, then they also said Progressive, obviously, yes. State Farm, yes. Safeco, yes. So if you wanted to start looking for bids, these are probably the safest ones to bid with. And they said to make sure that they, the insurance company understands it's a three-wheeled vehicle. So otherwise, they may think that it's a two-wheeled motorcycle. And then if you actually, um, and they give you a motorcycle insurance because it's classified as a motorcycle legally, and they find out it's a three-wheeled vehicle, they may just not honor your, your policy because their policy uh, documents say that it's a motorcycle's two wheels. Then looking at about how much they cost, these, these are people talking about um, how much it costs to insure. This was um, uh, this was really cheap, $180 a year for the Archimoto. Um, seems very, very cheap. Uh, another vehicle that's very similar to the Aptera is the Polaris Slingshot. It's not enclosed, so I think that the, uh, and it's a, it's a motorcycle, it's kind of a performance motorcycle in a way, so, I would think that um, they would charge a little bit more insurance because it's not enclosed in slightly higher insurance rates um, because of that and the way that people drive it. This person said you'll get some ridiculous quotes from some companies, 1500 to 2000 range. They ended up paying about 500 a year. Uh, this guy pays about 400 a year um, through State Farm. Uh, so I think ju judging from this, my guess is that if you ask around, make sure they understand it's an enclosed three-wheeled vehicle. A lot of companies are going to be like, we have never heard of this thing. We will not insure it. But places like State Farm, um, Progressive, 
Safeco, uh, Country Financial, Allstate, American Family, they have experience with three vehicles and they'll be like, oh, okay, so it's like a Polaris Slingshot or Archimoto uh, or a Electromechanica Solo. And then they'll have something to base it on and then they'll figure out, you know, it's a two passenger car, I mean, two passenger vehicle, it's enclosed and they'll give you a kind of rough estimate. I suspect it's gonna be similar somewhere between the, uh, the Slingshot and the Archimoto. So probably somewhere between 400 to 900 a year to insure based on, you know, how much coverage you're asking for, what your driver's record is, that kind of stuff. So it should be very reasonable to insure, um, especially if you just go for the liability and not for comprehensive. Um, because it's a light, smaller vehicle, you're not gonna, you're not likely to cause too much damage to the other vehicle or to other property. It would be probably even cheaper than that. So, anyways, um, this is a good website. You can see which which companies have experience with three wheel vehicles and try with them. Uh, a couple of the people in the Slingshot Insurance said that they went with Geico. So Geico definitely does uh, three wheelers too. But you can um, double check with them. Okay, well, I hope that was helpful. When we all get our Apteras, obviously we're gonna need insurance for it, and these are the places I plan on going to to uh, look for insurance quotes. Thanks for watching, and join our um, Discord channel.